Hi friends, welcome to Afa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 5 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about comments in Python. So what comments in Python and why we use them? So actually comments will be used in Python whenever you want to explain your Python code or you want to make your code more readable or you want to prevent some code line to be executed from the execution while you're testing something. So in all scenarios, you can use comments. Comments are think like these are uh, some lines which are available inside your program, which will be not executed by the Python interpreter. Python will not execute the comments. It will simply ignore the comments. And how to declare the comments, how to make any line as a comment in Python code using a hash symbol before your line. I will practically show you that if it is not make sense at this moment. Let me navigate to Visual Studio code. So this is the Visual Studio code which I will use for Python development. So let me click this open folder here to open our folder. So if you have followed my previous videos, this Python demo folder we are using for our development. Inside this folder we are keeping all our Python files. Let me select this Python demo folder. So once you select the Python demo folder, it is going to open Python demo folder here inside this explorer and also you can see there are already two python files so let me close this welcome tab here let me create a new file here so let me name it like comments.py that means comments python file because we are going to use this file for for this comments related demo so now uh, let's assume i have a program like this a equals to 5 b equals to 4 and then i want to print the sum of a, b, a plus b so a plus b so what this code will do is actually when you run it is going to print 9 why because a, a is equals to 5 4 equals to 4 b equals to 4 so sum is going to be 9 so that's what it will print so let me practically run this and show you so i'm clicking this run button here to execute the code you can see the output printed as a 9 here so now this code is okay i mean this is a simple program by seeing this program you can easily understand what is happening but in real time you will be writing lot of code you will be writing so much of complex logic in your code so you may feel a need of having a comment there so that when a new person visits your code or you by your own you visits your code after a long time that will give you a hint like what you are trying to do that so so to add such kind of hints or to add such kind of documentation you can use comments i will show you that now if it is not make sense here so let me add a comment here saying like uh, i want to assign here what i am doing assigning assign value 5 into a variable okay that's what here i am doing so this line right now is not a commented line why because there is no no pound pound symbol available here at the beginning of this line so if you want to comment it you should use this pound symbol or hash symbol before your line the moment you do that if you observe the color changed into green that means it's a commented line your python interpreter will simply ignore this line from execution okay so there is a shortcut also available for you to create a comment so let me do this so let me write another comment here like assign value 4 into b variable okay so i want to comment this so if you on your keyboard if you select control k c that is going to mark that line as a comment okay so control k c is a keyboard shortcut uh, to to get your comment on the line if you remove if you want to remove comment from this line then simply select control k u so that is going to remove comment so control k c will get the comment okay so then let me add another comment here like here perform sum and print result okay so if you observe this code i have added three lines of comments here and these comments are helping me to understand my code so these are like a documentation so they will make your code more readable okay so all these lines of comments whatever you are seeing here these are like single line comments this is one line comment this is one line comment you can you can create an inline comment also that means instead of writing this comment here above the line you can use it here also let me do this so after a equals to 5 here i, I am going to paste a comment okay so these are like inline comments you can use comments inline also okay like how i am doing right now so a equals to 5 then comment b equals to 4 then comment so like that you can add a inline comments as well okay uh, and there is another type like multi-line comments what is the meaning of multi-line comment means uh, more than one line if you want to write 
as a documentation and you want to make all those lines as a comment then that that area we will call it like multi line comment for example this is a sample program this program explains explains comments okay so two lines of the code i have here and i want to make sure these two lines should be as a comment so is there any direct way to get the multi line comment in python actually no what you should do now you should add a by this pound symbol here for each and every line so like that you can get a multi line comment or another one another way is you can use uh, dog string lit literals so when i say dog string literals nothing but a string thing like a string uh, which will be not assigned to any variable so you need to use three quotes here three double quotes then end three double quotes here so this will become a string dog string which is actually not assigned to any variable so the moment you don't assign any string to any variable that means your python interpreter will read the string but it is not going it is it is going to ignore it it is not going to make use of this string anywhere so if you use multi line string literals as a comments without assigning into variable that is also fine okay so to get that dog string or multi line string for the comments you should use this three double quotes or even three single quotes you can use it so when i say three single quotes like this so single quote single quote single quote then at the end of your comments area sing close them with the three single quotes so this is also like a commented area okay so let me go to my slide so there are three types of the comments single line comment multi line comment dog string comment okay so that's it in this video comments as i said they will help you to make your code more readable and they will and also as i said if for example let's assume okay i forgot this let's assume in your code uh, you have this print a minus b so let me save this and if i run this particular code let me say like python comments dot py so it is going to print the sum and also it is going to print the difference minus right so maybe i am testing this program i don't want to print this sum i want to only print this value so i don't want my program to execute this line number 9 so how to prevent that again use a comment there and comment that entire line and then save the changes then execute the code this time it is not going to print that sum why because i commented that that means by commenting your lines of code you can make them uh, uh, away from your execution okay so if you want to roll back if you want to execute even that print statement also simply uncomment that area and then save and then execute that once again so it is going to include that line also for the execution right so that's it so hope this given a clear idea about the comments thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much